Shabbat Shalom and Shana Tova. Welcome to a special five minutes of Torah with the Beth Israel Rabbi. Special, of course, because we are just hours away from the beginning of Rosh Hashanah. Unfortunately, we will not be able to gather all 1,800 of us this year as we have in years past throughout our building, throughout our various services. But we will be able to celebrate Rosh Hashanah this year by gathering together in the virtual world. As some of us, those of us who are leading services here at Beth Israel, will be leading them from this sanctuary and from other rooms around the synagogue. We look forward to celebrating Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur with you this year on either Zoom or YouTube. Tomorrow and on Sunday, we are going to read Torah from this shulchan, from this table right here. The Torah reading for Rosh Hashanah is actually a bit of, a, of an odd choice. The Torah reading for Rosh Hashanah is the Isaac narrative of all of the selections of Torah, of all of the stories and all of the litany of laws. The rabbis chose the Isaac narrative for Rosh Hashanah. Isaac, who is probably one of the most passive characters in the entire Torah, certainly the most passive of our forefathers, is at the heart of the reading. Isaac, in fact, on Sunday's reading, is almost sacrificed by his father. Now, there is a rabbinic reading of the story that says that Isaac was active in this almost sacrifice. But most rabbinic readings, and even the pshat, the simple understanding of the text, has Isaac as a passive character, rather as an active character. And later on, of course, we know that Isaac is tricked by Yaakov, by Jacob, as Isaac is about to pass on to the next world. Why choose the Isaac narrative? Why focus on Isaac for our Torah reading? on Shabbat, on Sunday. What does this have to teach us about Rosh Hashanah? I would like to suggest that Isaac reminds us of humanity. Isaac reminds us of what we may feel as we go through our days, our months, and our years. That the world is operating around us. That things are happening, sometimes good, and sometimes not so good, especially these days. I know we all feel so confused. We all feel so challenged. We all feel as though the world is being turned upside down around us. And some of us, unfortunately, feel that we are not controlling the world around us. But Rosh Hashanah comes to remind us that we do have that through our prayers and through our actions, we are able to, to take control. To take control of not only the world around us, but our own lives. To bring ourselves meaning. To bring ourselves spiritual existence in this world. And so no matter what is happening, no matter what the challenges are of the day, COVID-19, its economic challenges, its social challenges, its spiritual challenges, all of those challenges can be overcome. Can be overcome as, as long as we are willing and able to and actively go out of our way to make a connection with God, make a connection with family, and make a connection with friends. 